Right, this is all about interdependence and food webs. The diagram in front of you is a food web. It shows which organism eats which organism. So, I can see an individual food chain within my food web. The fox eats the hen and the hen eats the corn. I can see another food chain. The owl eats the mouse and the mouse eats the corn. So there are a number of different food chains within my food web and my food web shows which organism eats which organism. There's a term you need to know which is interdependence, which is the dynamic relationship between all living things. So my food web shows interdependence. The rabbit depends on eating the grass and the fox depends on eating the rabbit. We have different levels of my food chain as well. The bottom level are producers, they're plants. They make their energy by photosynthesis using sunlight. Then the next level up are my primary consumers. They eat the producers. And the level above them are the secondary consumers and they eat the primary consumers. The red arrows in the diagram show the flow of energy. Energy always flows upwards from what is being eaten to what is eating it. So always remember the direction of the arrows and remember that it shows the movement of energy. So we're now looking at how energy moves up the food chain, up a food web. Um, and at each level, energy is lost as it moves from one trophic level to the next. So energy is lost as it moves from an oak tree to a caterpillar and energy is lost as it moves from the caterpillar to the blue tit. Where is this energy lost? It's lost in two main ways. It's lost by respiration, because living things produce heat energy as they're living, and it's also lost in excretion, so it's lost in their faeces and their urine as well. And they're the two ways that energy is lost as it moves up the food chain. Now this determines the shape of something called a pyramid of biomass, which shows the mass of a living tissue in each organism moving up the chain and what we can see is that the pyramid of biomass has a pyramid shape and that is because energy is being lost at each stage.